While our commentary is generally considered family-friendly, this game is rated M by the ESRB. Hello and welcome back to more Stephen Amount Play, The Walking Dead. On the last episode, we've we've been at the dairy farm. Yeah. Um, Mark and Lee went out for a walk, and Mark got shot by an arrow. There's apparently some bandits from a, a big box store that are living in the woods. Now, Dan... And Lee, Dan is one of the brothers that's from the dairy farm. From the dairy farm, uh, Dan and Lee have went out into the woods to figure out what's going on, and they have just stumbled across uh, one of these small settlements. Let's see. Look at lawn chair. Examine the tent. I'm just gonna walk around and take a look here. Just water. Hmm. Take a look here. Nothing. Empty. It was weird that I moved that box like that. Mm-hmm. Looks like they expected to be here a while. Maybe there's bears. Domesticated bears? Anybody inside? Two sleeping bags. One of them's kid sized. Hmm. Maybe this isn't what we want. Hmm. Looks like they were moving a lot of stuff. What's in the boxes? They're all from save lots. The first few days, they told folks to gather to the save lots by the interstate. Anything worth taking? We don't know whose camp this is. Might not be bandits. It must be. They don't share their neighborhood. Oh, ho, ho, what is this? Mm-hmm. Boxes from the dairy here. Probably the food we've been giving them. Fuckers cross the line. What is this? What do you find? A video camera. Let me see that. <laughs> is it a flip? Batteries it looks dead. like a flip. Oh, good. What else they got over here? Let's see if we can find anything useful and then get a move on. I see you handled that gun I lent you pretty well. You a hunter? No, but Lily keeps us all on a regular training schedule. Lily? I thought you were running things back there. Yeah, but uh, uh she's got the combat training. Hmm. Dan is starting to get real suspicious. See, I was so suspicious in the beginning. Well, I was suspicious in the, in, the tent. in the beginning, and then I was like, nah, sorry. Right. Look in the tent. knew it. I knew it when we first glanced in there. What? The hell? Don't you fucking move! Shit! Put your guns down. I ain't going back. You tell him Jolene ain't going back. Hey, we had a deal. No shooting as long as we gave you food. What the fuck happened? You had a deal with them. I ain't them. Oh, I know you. I know what you are. And I know what you do. You don't know me. Steal my shit! Steal everything from me! Who the fuck are you? <laughs> Look, it's not safe up here in the woods. You gotta come back to the dairy! <laughs> oh, it's a hell of a lot safer up here than down there, you best believe. Now maybe you didn't hear me last time. When I asked you, sweet, put your damn guns down! You think I won't kill you? I'm gonna take this here crossbow and put a nice soft arrow right through your eyeball and into your goddamn brain. You're not men. You're monsters. All men are monsters. Take what they want and then destroy it all. 
Take a can of beans. Take a little girl. It's all the fucking same to you. Where did you get this hat? The little girl. You stole it from her. So what if I did? You stole her from me. Wait, what? What the hell are you talking about? You know what? I changed my mind. I'm putting this arrow right through your balls. Yeah, right through. String them up on that tree. Then I'ma head down to that farm and shoot every goddamn person I see. Put down the crossbow. No, sir, I need it. I need it to kill you fuckers. <laughs> Go on. Tell him, boy. Tell him what you got in mind. Oh. Whoa. Dan, man. Hey. Hey. Whoa. That wasn't cool. God damn it! You straight up murdered that woman! Hardly. She had a crossbow pointed at my forehead. <sighs> it's a clean shot, though. Right through the forehead. That's good shooting right there. Still, what a waste. So, that's it. We going back? If they ain't here, I don't know where they are. And it ain't a good idea to go tromping through the woods looking for them. So yeah, we head back. Once they see this, they'll get the message. Man. Dan is freaking me out. Mm-hmm. I mean, he looks messed up in here. <laughs> he looks like a scary dude, as it is. I got Clem's hat back. Where'd they get it from her, though? It's not like she's out in the woods where she can lose it. I know, there's some unanswered questions here. And the thing is, she was starting to, like, talk about some of her story, you know, where she was like... Because I was like, what do you mean, stole her away from you, you yeah. know? But then Dan Man, shot her. a hell of a ride, huh? Jesus, Danny. What? You ain't getting soft on them, are you? Not after what they did to your friend. You're back! What happened? Handled it, Mama. This isn't what Terry would have wanted. Terry? My husband. Miss him every day. Then screw it up for everybody then, why don't you? Oh, calm down, Princess. I'll do it myself. It's a storm coming. Great. What's going on with them? Don't know. Squabbling, looks like. A lot of tension with y'all, huh? Ah. <sighs> uh, don't mind them. It's how they are. Each of them wants to be in charge, you know? Well, it's probably just the hunger talking. We all get a little testy. We'll fix that shortly. And Lee? Don't worry your head about them bandits. I'm sorry you've seen more violence than I'd have thought in your short time, but you all are safe here. Don't worry. I think I'll go have a look around. Don't wander too far. Dinner will be ready before you know it. And thank your friend Koch again for me. She and the kids are in the barn with the cow. That woman is a lifesaver. Hmm. I'm so suspicious. Yeah, I... I mean, like, I was suspicious at the beginning, and then I, I kind of calmed down after we saw some of the bandits. So I was like, okay, so I think these people are actually all right. They're on the up and up. But then everyone is so freaking creepy, you know? Where did that lady get Clem's hat? That doesn't make any sense to me. Hello. Glad I got to use her today. Ooh. My girl here. Uh You really like that guy. What's not to like? <laughs> Just kinda creepy, that's all. Times like these, a 243 will keep you warmer at night than any lady I ever known. <laughs> Danny noticed your suspicion. More like Danny noticed that that Lee thought he was creepy as hell. Ugh. You guys are pretty out in the sticks here. Hard to find. You get many visitors? Not anymore. Bandits, of course. Used to get these school kids on tours back before the dead time. How do you run this place with just one cow? Used to have more. They get hungry, too. Or sick. Got your doctor friend here now, though. 
You guys must trade for a lot of fuel to keep the generators running, right? People get hungry, and a few loaves of bread fetch a high price. Y'all are luckier on this side of the deal now. I'm gonna go wait for supper then. It'll be a good one. Uh. Oh my god. Mm -mm. But th here's the thing, Mal. Like, sure, there's like a tiny bit of suspicion, but it's just ramped up. They, they look like Telltale has the suspicion dial and they ramped it up to like 11. They're storing gasoline all over the property. Doesn't seem safe, especially with lightning. I'm glad Andy knows how to fix this if something goes wrong. I'm clueless about this stuff. I guess Mark and I were lucky we weren't touching this thing when it came on. Yeah, that's the other thing. Yeah, they, why did it get turned back on? Why did it get turned back on? Because Andy could have friggin' killed us. It's a small toolbox. Yeah. Take the multi-tool. The multi-tool. That should be handy. I'm just gonna borrow this for a second. To do what? Hmm. One of the things that Lily said stuck out to me, and she's right, is that these people seem like they wouldn't really appreciate you snooping around. Yeah. Because Danny already noticed our suspicion. Let's see. We've already looked at this stuff. I, I mean, the hay pile's not going to change. It's a hay pile. It might. Looks like a feeding station for the see? cow. Okay, but it could have changed. We had no idea of knowing. I'm going to talk to Lily again. Hey, so what happened at the camp? Did you guys find any more of those guys that hurt Mark? Ooh. We found a woman in the woods. She was talking all crazy and had a crossbow. So Danny killed her. Holy shit. Was she one of those bandits? I don't know. I think she was trying to tell me something. But then he just went off. I don't like this, Lee. I still say we should go back to the motor inn where we at least know what to expect. I mean, you're not wrong. Hey. She will remember that. Hmm. Do you get the feeling something's going on here? What makes you say that? What exactly happened at the camp? Uh, it's nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. Paranoia just getting to me a little bit. I know what you mean. These backwoods people always give me the creeps. If you ask me, we should just get our dinner and leave. Come on now. We don't want to be rude. What were you and Kenny arguing about when I came back from the camp? He's losing it, Lee. He comes over and starts talking about searching the barn and that these people are hiding something. But you told him to mind his own goddamn business, right? We are guests here and we don't need to be overstaying our welcome more than we already are. The way I see it, we just need to skip the dinner and get our food to go. But I'm starting to think your friend over there has another agenda. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. <laughs> don't worry, we got their multi-tool. I was about to say, they're, they're gonna be like, why do you have my multi-tool? And then they're gonna friggin' shoot me. Man, this, it's... I really like where the game's going, though, because things are getting ridiculously creepy and messed up. I think uh, Kacha was in here. Yeah. <laughs> We can finally see the inside of the barn. It's okay, Clementine. You can pet her. But what if she's a zombie it's okay, cow? Go ahead. Whoa! Katya says Mabel could have her baby tonight. We'll see, Clementine. Is that what this is about? What's this thing? Daddy said it's called a salt lick. Yeah, but don't lick it. It's gross. <laughs> you try Did it? you lick it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's nice to have some comedy. Oh, I got her hat. Here, Clementine. My hat! You found it! I knew you'd find it! You said you would! Listen, did you give your hat to anyone? No. 
Did you see any strangers around the motorhead who might have taken it? No. Why? It's probably nothing. Just let me know if you ever see anything like that. Okay, I will. Hey, Lee, do you think you'll ever have kids? I'd like to someday. Maybe a little girl like you. That's nice. You'd be a good daddy. Well, thanks for finding my hat. You're welcome, Clem. Do you want to pet the cow with me? Nah, but you go on ahead. How do you like that cow, Clem? She's pretty. He looks like Kepler. <laughs> she looks skinny. Well, she produces fat-free milk. That's why. <laughs> Talk to Doc. Uh, yes, sure. please. Have I missed anything? No, not really. Mm, it smells funny in here. Like duty. <laughs> that was a beavis, beavis laugh if I've ever heard one. <laughs> Finally some humanity in all of this. Mm -hmm. My god. Hey there, Andy. Yeah. How's the cow? Well, better now we got Doc on the case. We met this woman up in the woods. She seemed to know your brother. Uh, yeah, he, uh, he probably talks a little more than he ought to. Mm-hmm. That guy kind of looks like Andy Griffith. <laughs> Wait, his name's Andy. Oh, well, there you go. Um, when do you think, uh, we might eat? Hungry, huh? <laughs> Don't worry. Mama's cooking up some good grub. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> yep. Duck's facial expressions are the best. Hmm. They allow me to look around. Keep looking. <laughs> you're really, uh, you're really nervous about this place, aren't you? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Do 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 do. Salt lick. Salt lick. Don't lick it. <laughs> Not recommended. Look at the hay bale. I want to play in the hay. Of course stay you close do. Stay to your mom for now. No. Okay. I hate you, Lee. All right. Let's see here. How about this? Empty. Andy's gonna like show up behind me and be like, What you're looking at, Lee? It's gonna be my luck. This door. I think it's the only other place I can go. Oh, wait, no. I can go in all of the stalls. What the? Looks like a bunch of old dirty clothes. Ooh. Smells pretty foul. Hmm. 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 Concerned. Yeah, looking around, I think, is a good idea. So I will continue to check these stalls. Let's see. Feeding trough. It's a feeding trough. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Cow is mooing. Cow is definitely mooing. You are sharp as attack, Mal. Anything over here? No, nothing over here. All right. That wheelbarrow is weird. Yeah. What was in it? A shoe. I mean, clothes. All right, I'm gonna go check uh, this door. Just see if there's anything over this way. You found it too, huh? Lee, they're hiding something behind this door. I got a quick look. They got boxes of stuff and something metal and sharp. Don't get paranoid. It's my job to be paranoid, Lee. I got my whole family on this farm right now. How about you? What about Clem? I'll protect her no matter what. I know you will. Look, that guy with Katya, what's his name? He locked it up real tight the second we came in. I definitely heard a noise back there, Lee. What? 
My point is we gotta know for sure. So go find a hammer or something and I'll have this thing off in a second. You back me up in case them farmers come running. Hang on, man. Think this through. You smash the lock. Then what if it turns out you're wrong? You just fucked your chance to get a good meal in those kids you're trying to protect. Use your head, Kenny. All right, Professor. What'd you have in mind? Let me have a look at what we're dealing with first. With my multi-tool. Ah. Hmm. So I can look at the screw. Hey, Lee. You know how to pick a lock, right? No. Why would you say that? Well, you're... You know... Urban? Oh, you are not so what I think you're saying. <laughs> Jesus, man, I'm from Florida. Crazy shit just comes out of my mouth sometimes. Sorry. <laughs> that was the best exchange what? ever. See those screws? Instead of breaking the padlock, we can just take off the assembly, have a peek inside, and then replace it all again like nothing ever happened. All right, sounds like you got a plan. I'll hang around and keep an eye on that guy with the cow. Andy. Shit, I, th I thought that was Danny. Whatever. Can I help you boys find something? Hmm. Just checking out the barn here. Never been to a dairy farm before. Just don't roam around without me or Danny. The farm can be a dangerous place. You know, the bandits and all. Sorry about your friend. Hey, uh, do me a favor. Don't fuck around with this door, okay? Just, you know, mama gets nervous. Andrew, I need your help again. No problem. Right away, Doc. Hmm. Man, I'm not sure what to do. No. No what? You're you're saying it's my episode, aren't you? Yep. That's no. it for today. Thank you so much for watching. We're actually a little over time. Um, Mal, I'm sorry to put the uh, the burden on you, but it's going to be up to you to figure out what to do now. Just throwing this out here at the end of the episode. Here's here's kind of what I'm feeling. Yeah. Before I pass the controller on to you. Okay. I like Kenny. Yeah. I think Kenny is a little paranoid. Yeah. I think he's kind of got the tinfoil hat thing going on, and we should be a little careful about what he gets paranoid about. That said, I do feel like things are a little weird. I've always thought they were weird. But, but, maybe the game's trying to push up that suspicion dial when things are not actually crazy you know yeah like it's kind of like trying to lead you on a little bit like, like when it led us on about saving duck or the other guy yeah like the game is kind of like oh man things are weird and suspicious and maybe it turns out that the like these people are actually good or something you know i don't know but it doesn't matter because you gotta decide thank <laughs> no. you so much for watching next episode mal's in control will she pick the lock will she talk to people will she have dinner i have no idea Thanks for watching. See you guys next time for more Stephen Amell play The Walking Dead.